everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Wendy and I am a cellist. Today we're gonna do what's in my cello case. I'm actually also gonna show you what's outside of my cello case. But before I do that, please don't forget to subscribe right now and hit that bell button so that you'll be notified of future videos. So we have our little kitten here. We'll see if she'll stay, but this is Lucky the cat and she's been a great friend and she might hang out with us but um, let me just show you my cello right here this is my cello case i definitely decorated it and i wanted to share with you it really just started off with me going i have all these extra stickers and i don't know what to do with it and you know how like in phone cases you have these like little phone case i used to anyway these beads or whatever jewels that makes it look good so i was like all right, I'm gonna decorate my cello. And that just started a whole thing because then it just went nuts since then. Actually, when I go on the subway in New York, a lot of little kids, they just love my cello case. So I wanna first show you what's outside. So here we have some unicorns. They're kind of falling apart. You know, it's been around. I found this Sunshine and Slayer. So I'm a Sunshine Slayer with the cello, you know? <laughs> and then I told you about the jewels. So this is a, a phone case jewel and I found this at the dollar store and some of it is falling apart. We're gonna have to upgrade some of these stickers. There's some under the sea, under the sea <laughs> kind of fishy stickers. And of course, don't forget, uh huh, Mulan. Because I low-key think that I'm legit may have been Mulan in my last life. But I have some Mulan stickers and actually this is an interesting um story because my friend who was a cellist gave these to me when I was like really young. I recently found a letter that she gave me and she included these Mulan stickers. So this is like 10, 15, 20 years later. I don't know how long ago it was. I just decided to stick it on because I love Mulan. And actually I am hoping to do a Mulan song. Okay, comment below if you're interested in seeing a Mulan cover video. Well, these are just different stickers that I collected everywhere. And then I just stuck all the jewels all over like that and then i do want to give a special shout out to my spiritual center celebration spiritual center love is louder and that is so true love is always louder all right so now are you ready for the back of my case let me show you the back of my case because that is severe whoa so we are now to the back of the cello and of course we have the fishies and the other stickers but you may be wondering what these round stickers are and what the heck is dmq well before i started this youtube channel i was doing makeup and beauty on a different channel diva makeup queen i created a cosmetic line called DMQ Cosmetics and these are some of the shadow names and so I will stick these to the back of the eyeshadows and my hope in creating this makeup line was to inspire women to be strong and to be empowered. These are some very special names and I thought if I stick them here then it'll give me and the cello good energy. So I wanted to share with you some of these names that I put. So we have Shine, Hope, Strength, uh, Inspiration, Courage, Imagination, confidence, drive, magical, aspire, attraction, limitless, glory, cherish, faith, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. You know that song by Rihanna. Sunset, ray of light, like uh, Madonna, and wanderlust, empowered vision, create, destiny, trust, blessed, love me, royalty, peace of mind, be enchanted, charm, passion. And by the way, speaking of passion, have you guys check out my visual album. If you haven't already, you must see it. It was filmed all over Europe and I made it in two years. I spent two years of time. It's so special. You have to go check it out. I'll link it right here and down below. It's called Passion, Spanish music. Very hot. Believe, confidence, hope, all of that. And then of course there's some inspirational quotes. A lot of people love it. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Remember that is true. Things are always okay. Always working out. Uh, amazing, be truthful, gentle, and fearless. And this is uh, apparently a Gandhi quote. Be happy, lovely, thank you, fun. Okay, don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. And I really want all of us to think of that, not just in our lives, and if you play an instrument, 
and if you're striving to be a professional ch- cellist or musician, you know, don't be afraid. And I think I've been afraid in the past, and now I just am going for it. Okay, last but not least, the happiest people don't have the best of everything; they just make the best of everything. So that is so true. We always have to make the best of everything. Now we are gonna go into my case inside, and now. We're gonna open the cello case, and of course, inside the cello case we have Mr. Cello, Sebastian the Cello, made by George Gmunder in the Viom shop. It's about two hundred some years old. It's a beautiful instrument, and I love it. It's been around with me for many many years, and I always have to buy a extra plane ticket seat when I travel, and I have stories about that. I'll link that story somewhere. But anyway, that's the instrument. It's a beautiful instrument, and you can see all the marks that have, well, basically, it's gone through a lot for like two hundred euro instrument. And here you can see that it's like kind of lighter because probably because it's always leaning against the cellist's chest, you know, and then it gets rubbed off a little bit. It's all original. There's some boo boos here that we're gonna have to fix up. Some boo boos. Um, but this is the instrument. Do let me know if you have any questions about my instrument down below. I will be sure to answer your question. All right, and now inside we have two bows. I want to show you now. Most instrumentalists they need more than one bow because in case something happens to their performance bow, they need a backup bow. So that's exactly what I have. I have my performance bow here, which is a modern instrument. And I can't remember what it's called right now, but we bought it at an auction for not really. It's not. It wasn't like terribly expensive. Maybe just. I mean, it might seem like a lot to you, but you know, for instruments, it's not that bad. Um. So this has served me really well. It's really great for concertos. Um. Because it has a very very powerful sound. So I really fell in love with this bow. I was very lucky that I was able to find it. So this is a great bow. The other bow I have is really nothing special whatsoever. It's honestly barely usable. It's not really a great bow, but it's something that I have so that I can use if I need it.、Um, you can see that it's kind of not in great shape. I really need to take care of it.、Um, so yeah. Okay, of course, now we have this rag that I occasionally clean the cello with. I just leave it here, and here. There's a pocket now. There's some goodies in here that I want to share with you. First is my rosin, very old rosin, but I really love this brand. I've used it. It gives my bow really good friction with the strings, so you can see <laughs> it's been used a lot. It's been loved, well loved, and it's probably time for me to get a new rosin given its shape. But I don't throw it away because I still use it. For every instrumentalist, all string players, we always have spare strings. So I have all four, I think, here, spare strings, and A, D, C, and G string. And these are the strings that I use. And you know, honestly, for cellists, it really depends on your instrument. You should experiment. With what kind of strings are good for you, but for me,、uh, Yarger strings for A and D forte are very very good. And、these are both forte, and then for C and D, I use spiral cord. The thing is about strings, I try not to change too frequently. I probably change the A and D string more frequently because they kind of go stale faster. These strings combined cost me like something like two hundred dollars, so it's expensive. I also have my dampet. In case those of you who are not familiar with this, basically we soak this up in the winter, and so it becomes like damp little, what do you call it,、um, rags inside almost. And be sure to squeeze it really well so the water does come out. So then during the winter, when it gets dried, like it doesn't dry up your instrument. Instead, it makes this dry, and then you just keep changing it, right? It's good to maintain the humidity of the cello so that it doesn't get too dry. Because what happens when it gets too dry? Things crack in the winter. That's what happens. I think that's it for my cello case and about my cello. Well, thank you so much for watching and joining me today. And don't forget to subscribe right here and check out my visual album Passion, which has twelve different tracks, twelve different videos, and when you stream them together, it becomes a love story featuring music of bossa nova, tango, of course, and I dance in it too. And Of course, Spanish classical music, my favorite. So I'll see you there, and of course, you can also download the album on 
all major platforms and on my website, wendylaw.com. All links down below. I'm on Instagram too. Tell us Wendy Law. I'll see you next time. Bye.